ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Workman, and I'm going to work through um, a, a sex-linked problem here for you, specifically the number uh, two problem from the level two genetics problems list. Um, as you can see here, the reading of the problem goes like this. One pair of genes for coat color in cats is sex-linked. Now, what does that mean? What it means is that the gene is on the X chromosome, all right? So um, let's continue to read through this. The gene B produces yellow coat, all right? That's capital B. So that means yellow coat would be dominant. Uh, lowercase b produces black coat. And then the heterozygous, uh, capital B, lowercase b, produces what we call tortoise shell. And if you've reasoned this out, um, the only way you can have these two genes, because they're on the X chromosome, um, is to be a female. So, And this is actually the case with uh, cats. Uh, only female cats are what we call tortoise shell, or uh, in some instances, calico. Um, it's an example of incomplete dominance in this particular situation as well. So um, what type of offspring results from the mating of a black male and a tortoiseshell female? Well, what we, get, what we need to do here is get our allele symbols straight. So um, let's talk about this. Uh, again, if it's sex-linked, that means it's on the X chromosome. So let me grab my pen here. Uh, sex-linked, that means it's on the X chromosome. All right, so um, here's how this works for our allele symbols. I'm going to write an X and then superscript right afterward. I'm going to write either a capital B or a lowercase b. So this means yellow. This, of course, means uh, black coat. And um, if you have a chance, as you know, if, if, as is the case if a cat is female, to have two X chromosomes, that would be tortoise shell, as we've defined it. Now, um, so what this means is male cats are either going to be yellow or black. They cannot be tortoise shell because they do not have uh, an opportunity to have um, uh, to be diploid with an X chromosome, all right? I mean, the very fact that a male has an X chromosome and a Y chromosome means that, you know, if you're male, you cannot have two X chromosomes. So let's do the cross here. Um, mating of a black male, all right? Now, male is XY, and he's black, so we're going to write a lowercase b in superscript afterward, and he's going to be crossed with a tortoiseshell female. So she must have a genotype that looks like this. And when we do the cross, um, let's put his gamete possibilities. He'll pass on either that X chromosome with the uh, recessive gene or a Y chromosome to his baby kittens. And she is going to pass on either this X with the dominant allele or this X with the recessive allele. So let's see how this pans out here. Um, they could potentially have a tortoise shell kitten. They could potentially have a black female kitten. Uh, they could potentially have a yellow male kitten and potentially a black male kitten. All right. So that means one quarter chance of female tortoise shell. One quarter chance of uh, black female. One quarter chance of male and yellow, and one quarter chance of having a male black kitten. Okay, that's it. So hopefully that's uh, one example of a sex-linked situation that helps you understand the patterns of sex-linked inheritance. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.